at true. ATM. This, I mean, this is true. Just some thought went into that. That was good. <laughs> okay. Some thought into this weather, no doubt. Yeah, now we're, we're pretty much done with the uh, the big thunderstorms, but there's still a couple of light showers out there that could Ugh. roll over Nats Park, but it's not going to uh, prevent them from uh, playing. Uh, let's start with the three-degree guarantee. I haven't had time for this yet. We did go for a high today of 65, despite the clouds and the showers, and hmm, we'll let you know how we did tonight uh, at 11. Live look outside. It is our live Michael and Son weather camp. Just a beautiful evening. There's still a couple of sprinkles south and west of town, down to 53 at the airport. Uh, winds out of the southwest at 7. They will pick up a little bit and turn more westerly tonight uh, and tomorrow. Okay, here's the radar over the past hour. Uh, a couple more showers have developed now on the east side of I-81, sort of in between Hagerstown and Winchester, headed toward Leesburg and Frederick. These are the heaviest showers we can find into southern Maryland. They're going to move across uh, Calvert County over in the bay, and that's uh, the second time you've been hit with pretty good uh, activity. And we also have some showers uh, south of uh, 66, uh, just to the west of a uh, Culpeper. We'll zoom into these. These are by far and away the heaviest, not severe, but heavy downpours. If you're rolling down five, you're going to find some heavy rain just to the southeast of Waldorf and heavy rain also around uh, Prince Frederick. Lighter activity northward up toward Huntingtown. We'll zoom in a little more. This is headed toward Malcolm at about 724 and about uh, 731 Holland Cliff Shores uh, over by the bay. Now we're going to zoom in to town. Old town, there's a uh, National Harbor, so there's just light activity here. This is all green, so it's light activity, but nonetheless, it's kind of nuisance showers, if you will. And this could actually graze uh, Nats Park. The bulk of it's going to stay just to the south of us, but I think this activity by the Pentagon and in between the Pentagon and the airport could just give Nats Park a sprinkle, but they're going to keep playing ball, no doubt about that. No lightning. So showers and storms and early tonight. Uh, bus stop temperatures, kind of cold, uh, 36 to 48, and it'll be breezy too. It'll be okay Friday, just going to be more like March uh, than anything else. Breezy and cooler. And then a cold weekend with flakes on Saturday. Weekend's going to be, well, cold for late February, quite frankly, let alone uh, early April. 10 o'clock tonight on Futurecast. Couple of showers still left into Calvert County. That's about it. Partial clearing elsewhere. Temperatures upper 40s, low 50s. By morning, I think a coat's a good idea. I mean, 38 in Gaithersburg, 42 in Silver Spring, and 41 in Fairfax. By mid morning, doesn't get a whole lot warmer. I mean, mid to upper 40s now. Uh, we're looking at temperatures across the bay, uh, across the divide rather. 29 in Oakland with snow. <laughs> it's a different world. Okay, by 1 o'clock, we're in the low 50s with sunshine. And then by tomorrow evening, about this time, just a few clouds, mid 50s downtown, and maybe 53, 54 in Leesburg and Sterling. So, day planner goes like this 40s, 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 and maybe 52 uh, by 1 o'clock under partly cloudy skies. Next seven days. There's our wet snow and rain on Saturday, 46, 50 on Sunday. So the ballpark needs to invest in some hot chocolate over the weekend. 70 on Monday, showers and storms early. Then we pop in the warm sector. More showers on Tuesday, 60. Then Wednesday, we're in pretty good shape, 60 with sunshine. And then Thursday, even nicer sunshine and the low 60s. We'll be back right after this. Get accurate weather and traffic on the nines guaranteed on Wake Up Washington. Tonight on ET, why stars are nothing.